What up YouTube? This is Steven and welcome back to another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the covers of Cute's album CMAJ9. And let's begin with the regular edition version of the album cover. And as you see, this album cover features beauty shots, you know, close-up shots of the girls in their visages. <clears throat> Again, these are beauty shots. In my personal opinion, I don't think they pulled off these beauty shots as well as they should have. I think that the girl on the top left-hand corner pulled the beauty shot off the best. And the others kind of just fall, you know, somewhat in between and just downright terrible. <clears throat> you know, like the girl on the bottom right hand corner, like her eyes look a little off, but I can kind of give her some leeway there. But if you look closely, like one eye seems like it's a, like opened more than the other eye and that throws off the look of her face. But if the eyes were on point, that would be um, a respectable beauty shot. Um, the girl on the top right hand corner, I feel like um, she was on her way to a good beauty shot, but kind of lost, got lost somewhere. And for me, it was like her facial expression kind of looks like maybe she smelled some smell that was not pleasant, perhaps. Well, something in her facial expression is a little off for me. I think she's trying. She's trying, but she ain't quite getting there. Uh, the girl in the middle, I don't know. Like Her facial expression is so vacant for some reason. I think had she had, had more of a thought behind her look, it would have worked better. Um, here, it's just too vacant, you know? The girl on the bottom left-hand corner, um, her look isn't terrible, but again, sort of similar to um, the girl with the vacant look. It's sort of like that, but not as bad, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I guess I would rank them as, you know, you know top right-hand corner. Sorry, top left hand corner would be the best. Uh, the second would be the bottom right hand corner. The third would be the top right hand corner. The fourth would be the bottom left hand corner. And the fifth would be the middle. And there you have it. There you have it. All right, let's move on to the next photo, the next album cover. This is the album cover for limited edition version A. And I'm like, okay, um, when I see this, I'm like, it's really colorful, you know, a really colorful album cover here. Um, thanks to the girl's clothing. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. I, I like the coloration, you know, really lively. So I guess I'll go from left to right. <clears throat> um, the girl to the far left, I feel like her pose is okay, but it could be a bit more dynamic. Um, the next girl, her pose is really over the top, but hey, at least she went for it. You know, it's a bit much, but at least she went for it. And really, I kind of think um, perhaps maybe if the facial expression wasn't a, so campy, it probably could be pulled off a little bit better. Uh, but then again, like, it kind of does match. Her facial expression does match her body language, though. And the girl in the middle, okay, she's holding it down. She's um, kind of like giving kind of like cute and sexy look with it. All right, check. Checkpoint for them there. Uh, the next girl, I like the leg up and, you know, the finger on the hand. I, it's okay. It's cool. Um, the girl to the far right. Um, I like 
her body positioning, although I think she kind of got lost a little bit because of the shadowing of this photo. I think that she kind of got lost a little bit, but I think she's working it in the photo, though. I think she's doing a really good job in the photo. Um, for me, the girl in the middle is the best, and the girl in the far left is the worst. All right, let's move on to the next album cover. The next album cover is the album cover for limited ed limited edition version B. And okay, I like that I can really see the girls close up or at least closer than I've seen them before, but also I get to see or we get to see their entire bodies pretty much. <clears throat> And I guess I'll start from left and go right as well. All right. The girl on the left this time around, she's giving us a uh, a nice pose here and um, okay facial expression. Um, it looks like everyone's going for more of an edgy editorial look here. You know, at least with their um, body language and facial expression. So okay, all right. Next, um, I think. That young lady, she lost her neck. Um, and I'm not crazy about the body positioning, but I think it could have worked better if she had just positioned, positioned her neck a little bit better. The third girl in the middle, um, I, okay, she's playing with her hair and she's giving us sort of a serious expression here. And I don't think that is matching up right there. But she probably just needed something to do with her hands. Um, she is okay in this particular photo. Um, the fourth girl. Okay, I see she's trying to give us some neck in the photo. And give us a good pose. Um, I think it may have worked a little bit better if maybe she leaned back a little bit more. Um, for this particular pose. But it's respectable. It's okay. Uh, the fifth girl here okay she's giving us good neck and the pose is a little safe and it could be a bit more dynamic but it's respectable though um it's a nice um pose but i kind of feel like she didn't do anything with her arms they're kind of just there and i think that if she had done something with her arms it would have helped elevate the quality of her look In this photo, I think the strongest girl is the girl to the far left in the red leather skirt. I think that the weakest girl would be the second girl next to her. Um, just because I think she lost her neck and she kind of just didn't really do, like the pose is just not really working for me. But overall, as a whole, I really do like this um, album cover. <clears throat> and I think it works really well. All right, let's move on to the final photo. The final photo is a promotional photo for the album. And here, this is a bit weird and a bit odd. Not necessarily just, not necessarily because of how they look, but uh, just because it doesn't seem to have any relation to the previous photos we saw. But nevertheless, um, these are the photos, or this is the photo that we have um, as a promotional photo for the album. And I like their look. Um, it's very preppy, and I like the preppy look, you know, the business look. However, um, I don't know. Um, like, for instance, the girl on the far left, her face is really, her mouth is really tense, and that tense, and that throws her look off, you know, throws her facial expression off. The girl next to her, um, she working with the best she can. Um, I think she was given, like, a, uh, one of the weaker outfits to work with one of the more difficult outfits to pull off um <clears throat> but i think she's pulling it off pretty decent but i think like her waistline looks really thick and i don't think she has a thick waistline but just because of how the outfit looks and the design of the outfit it makes her look really like thicker than she is um the girl in the middle her facial expression i guess she was possibly going for like ethereal but kind of landed on um, like 
apathetic or stoic, lackadaisical. Um, but I like her outfit, um, and you know I like the outfit that she has. All right, the next girl with the leather skirt, I like that look that she has. Um, it's kind of like schoolgirl meets um, edgy girl because like the schoolgirl is like the top part of her outfit, and the bottom part, like the leather skirt, would be the edginess. Um, however, I wish she would have given a better facial expression. You know. Um, I think if she had a. a a better facial expression, it would have pulled the, the, everything off much better. Um, but I'm like, you know, what you mad about though? You got one of the better outfits in this photo shoot though. I'm like, what you mad about? You know? The last girl on the far right, um, she looks like she is like a math teacher. You know? And by the way, is that like, um, is that racially offensive for me to say? Because um, I didn't, like, when I had first thought about that, I was like, okay, yeah, that kind of popped into my head. But I'm like, and why did math teacher pop into my head, though? I don't know. Um, Y'all let me know. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, she kind of looked like she a teacher, you know, possibly teaching math. She could be teaching uh, chemistry, um, biology, um, you know, language arts, you know, language Um who knows what she gonna be teaching? Um, who knows for sure? Um, but yeah, um, I think she got the weakest outfit, though. And <laughs> she like, really, y'all, y'all put me in this. <laughs> That's her facial expression. <laughs> All right. So let me give you my rankings of these photos. All right. So I rank limited edition version B as the best photo. And I rank that as the rank this as the best photo because you can see the girls in totality for the most part, and they're all given edgy, good looks. And overall, I think this works the best as a album cover. Um, the second best album cover would be the regular edition version of the album cover. Um, these are beauty shots, but these beauty shots are. <laughs> They're a little weak, in my opinion. Um, these beauty shots could have been much better. Um, but at least you get to see the girls' faces close up. Alright, the third best album cover is the limited edition version A version of the album cover. And for me, I do like the album cover, but... I guess they're so far back that I don't really get a feel for them. And they're just, like, it's a lack of connection with them, I guess, because they're so far back, maybe? I don't know. I, I guess I would, if, if this was, if they were closer to the camera, I think this would work better for me. But, you know, it is a nice artistic album cover. Don't get me wrong. And... The fourth best photo is the promo photo, you know, the promotional photo. And I do like the preppy look they're giving. I like their preppy look. Um, but um, these facial expressions were not on point, though. They <laughs> were just like, they were over this photo shoot, I guess. I don't know. Maybe some issues behind the scenes. I ain't sure. But there you have it. Feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Until the next photo analysis, adios and goodbye for now.